Yeah. Yeah, here's our gear. Here's our starting gear. Or not starting. Here's what we pulled out of the hospital when we escaped. We got a first zombie I killed was a shady zombie. He dropped a toolbox. Shortly after that, we got a tailor's kit. And that's that's the amazing stuff. The toolbox really is the amazing part. So, scalpel's okay. It'll be useful eventually. We got stethoscope, which again later will be useful. Other than that, for medical gear, though, we just got some aspirin and some tramadol, and that's about it, so. Toolbox, though, that was pretty amazing. Dropped it on the first zombie. Alright, before I hit, head out here, do, 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 do. hey there, Cuban Emo, welcome back, and Ekanuke. Yeah, I think I could put the brazier here, but I'm pretty sure this lets the light out. It's not enclosed, at least this tent at least. So if I had a functioning full tent, maybe you could put the brazier. Well, but you, no, you wouldn't have any place to put it and close the the tent flaps. So there's only one interior space. So you're always, if you've got the brazier there with you, going to have. Uh, a problem so it's not ideal but it worked in this situation <laughs> yeah depresso I'm I'm out for becoming uh, a mushroom <laughs> Okay, uh, so I think I might attract that zombie when we try to do this. Um, let's get this sorted out first. Alright, only thing up there is the tent. I'm carrying everything else. I'm carrying everything. Alright. Nothing else laying around, just the brazier that we still need to pick up after we do this. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Uh, we've got burnt 2x4s over there, that should be fine. Activate, fire drill. Yeah, yeah. Bullcrap! <laughs> uh, what's going on? Do I have... I have two two unopened tin cans. Why are you not letting me do this? Hmm. Hmm. A little odd. Oh, is that what's going on again? I don't often run into this problem early game, so we gotta drop those in order to do it. That's weird. We'll go with it though. Consume, consume. And that's really all I care about. Oops. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Try again. Uh, two's fine. Wow. Unload. Four on ground. Unload. Four on ground. Give me my brazier. Whoops. All right. No more tent. <laughs> Pick the wrong option. Uh, yeah, take that down as well. Let's see. Give me four two by fours, and that's all I care about for now. Great. 
Protection values are reduced by damage. Give me the hat. There we go. Now we're styling. Oh, too much stuff now. Need some hand wraps. What are we at? 90% or 90 focus? Alright, we'll take that with us. <laughs> Nothing in our hands. We are famished, so we have no choice. We're gonna have to hit, head down into that town. Without anything to cook in. Hey, and cool off. Thanks very much for the resub. Appreciate it. Yep, oh, tough zombie. Um... He's going to be a pain in the butt, so we're going to have to deal with him. Come on, tough zombie. Alright, what the hell? <laughs> Moss bird. What are we looking at? So with the scout trait, we're getting a pretty good view ahead of us. Um, expanding our map view range. Electronic store right on the outside edge. I think I'm going to stay on... I'm going to keep going this way, just so I... In case I need to, I can run back into the cover of the forest. So we'll see how this keeps mapping out as we travel around here. I want to be just... Whoops! Migo and a zombie burner. South of us? Really? Whoa! And bandits! Hey there, thug thug bandit! Okay, now things got a little more difficult. So I'm looking down there. Triple Migo? <laughs> uh, and I complain enough about the double Migo ambushes. Look at this nonsense. What the hell, game? I hope you all die in burning, burning, fiery flames. Triple Migo action. I've had some issues with triple spawns lately. <laughs> Everybody that watched the end of uh, Wednesday's nose <laughs> uh, yeah I told you the toolbox is kind of a, a difficulty modifier game says sure with one hand I shall give thee a toolbox and with the other hand I shall smite it thee with triple amigos hmm hey there gun shy welcome welcome Triple Migos fighting a burner zombie out in the middle of nowhere. I don't generally see burner zombies except in FEMA camps. 
I almost never see them elsewhere. I gotta assume there's a helicopter crash near there, that he's out of a helicopter. Although I don't usually see burners in helicopters either. But this has made things difficult. <laughs> we have triple, triple Migos this way. We have thugs and bandits with guns up this way. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna chance it. I need to make sure I'm way out of the detection range of those Migos before the uh, rain stops and before. Oh crap. They're, they're moving west. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoop. Kelly Grubb Bandit gets angry. Uh, I don't need to deal with bandits or amigos. Every, all of them need to stay away from me. Oops. Hey there, you. I see you up there. I'm trying to thread the needle here between the amigos and the bandits. All right, Migos are off my screen. We got to get some food in us here pretty quick, though. Famished is not good. All right, we're coming up on some houses finally. Huh? Yeah, that's exciting. Let's let's mark this. Bandit camp. As soon as I'm away from the uh, visual range of those guys, I won't note that there's something there on the map. So, garden, eh, houses, eh, I think I'm going to aim for these here. So far, the zombie horde indicators are fairly clear. Then we got something going on over here as well, but it's definitely a bigger city, so I've got more options over here at least. So, let's keep going right along the outside edge of the city here. Alright, see a fat zombie coming up on the street. Vehicles, boomer zombie. Still nothing over further to the west. All right, getting into a house quietly and cleanly is the goal now. Rain is gonna help. Hey there, tank. Light tank. Nope, self-propelled howitzer. No treads, so we're not driving the tank anywhere. Uh, again, I'm trying to thread the needle between detection range for the grabber and those two down here. So I'm trying to, I'm to cut my way across and see if I can get into this house without any of them detecting me. So far, none of them have. Oh, so what? That's good. Yeah, so far, none of them have detected me. No exclamation points. We're going to try to maintain that. Use the rain to our advantage, cutting down their vision. Um, it's got wheels, a bit of gas, enough battery. Hmm. It's possible we could get this running, but first priority. What do we got? A duplex here, a split level or a split design? Uh, wasn't this building that had so what? Solder and thread. Um, that liar, that window's gonna be a bit of an issue. I think that's gonna be too close to that grabber up there. I'm gonna leave that spot alone for the moment. Fortunately, that's it for this house if I do. All right, let's stay in the shadows. The space I'm in is in the shadows. I'm just going to let some time pass and see if that grabber goes anywhere else. Uh, he's just kind of floating back and forth right there. Can I do it? Ooh, we got it. All right, I don't think he detected me. Grapes! Have some grapes. All right, now we're down to very hungry. <laughs> Nothing else in here. Don't need the steak knife. Actually, yeah, we don't have butchering tool. I do need the steak knife. Ooh. 
Ooh, not liking this window arrangement either. Twelve liners I like. Uh oh, Summer Zombie. Ah, crap. Summer Zombie saw me. There's my beloved Humvee. <laughs> hey, Humvee. No armored wheels. No armored wheels. Not quite as beloved when they don't have wheels. No wheels. No wheels. Yeah, that's not good. So, Summer Zombie spotted me. He's going to make noise banging on that vehicle trying to get to me. So, that's not ideal. But I haven't found enough food to really set up here anyway. And there's other zombies coming. Shooter bowl. Boiling and containing, but no cooking quality. Um, no. Pizzas are good. Oh, now they're coming. All right, we got the attention of a few things. Let's keep moving. Oh, there's a pot. Pot's important. Nothing in the bathroom. Oh no! Um, now we gotta start getting rid of stuff. Let's see. Do I need to carry the brazier with me anymore? Um, I don't think I need to carry the rags with me anymore. Pillow and blanket are probably also not terribly necessary now that I'm in a bunch of housing areas. Gotta keep all of this though. Brazier's pretty much top of my list, or the nine mil. Come on. Good lord. <laughs> this is where I get hit by a regular zombie right on the spot where I've got uh, filthy clothing and I end up getting infected. Oh, hey there, shotgun. Loaded shotgun. All right, I think I'm going to dump the Uzi. I'm never going to end up using it. I'll take the shotgun, though. So we've got a basement next to the window. Spitter zombie out there. Where? 58 is far enough. He won't see me. So let's get this closed up. Let's see what kind of basement we got. Grow basement. Empty basement with the shelves. Another gallon jug. Useful, but... I think this will be home base, actually. Whoa, hey, zombie. As soon as I say that, of course, I get a zombie coming after me. Um, let's temporarily divest ourselves right there. Don't want to take a chance of getting an infection right now. Or a bite. <laughs> I can't believe I couldn't break more 9mm ammo. Or more, another 9mm gun. Any other zombies? Yep. Goodbye, child zombie. Brought me a baseball bat, huh? Uh, nah, my fists are my blunt weapon. I don't think I need that. 19 bash for plus 3 is pretty nice. Um, we'll, we'll pick it up here eventually. And that's probably it. All right, so we got an empty basement. It's a retreat point. We can set up here temporarily until I make sure I've got the area clear. Um, not much in the way of raw materials down here, unfortunately, so it's not my normal ideal spot. But it'll at least let me dump some items temporarily while I go looting some more stuff. So, I'm also not happy. I haven't been able to clean these things yet. I need to focus on that pretty hard as soon as I get some soap. Let's wear the rucksack again. Alright. Um, let's see.
Leave the drill. Take the shotgun for emergencies. Gotta have the crowbar. And the toolbox. I think that's it. Let's have some pizza before it freezes up on me. We're gonna end up having all the pizzas. Yep. All the pizzas, and we still didn't get ourselves out of uh, very hungry status. We were pretty deep into that. Alright, so very much still on the hunt for... For food, um, don't think there's anything else I want to take with me right now. Could set the brazier up. Let's see, what do I need to do in order here? I need to keep. Well, no, I need food. I got to keep searching until I get some food. So let's not stop until I've at least got that somewhat under control. House is pretty bare otherwise. Um. Yeah. So at least of the two, we had a basement. Looks like we've got another small town right up there, so that's good. One we're at will do for now. House to house searching is pretty much what I need to be doing. But now my problem is I've got this gap that I have to cross and then get back to here cleanly. Peak. What do we got out here? Bus, car, candy, likely, likely to be a jack, a tire. Oh, fire truck, fire truck. Gonna check the fire truck, see if it's got gear. Early Halligan bar. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to get to the house across the street. Go like down this group of houses, then come across, and then see if I can manage to get back up here cleanly. So, let's go out this way, I think. Eek. Eek. Pretty clean out here. Oh, there's some zombies. Can they see me? They cannot see me yet. Oh, I forgot to check if the other side of that fire truck had gear before I moved this far. There's a nuclear bubble car. Whoops, I thought I hit X. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> There's the nuclear version. Turn off the mini map and then go look at it so I can see all the parts. Mini reactor and a busted electric motor. Alright, so it's not going anywhere. There's no solar panels or anything. And no items on either side of the fire truck, unfortunately. Uh, alright, zombies, you can follow me. I'm not going to bother fighting you. Should have checked both of those vehicles, though. Let's do that. It's got gas, not enough battery, no controls. So SUV's not going anywhere. Let's get in this house. Pickles! Pickles and fruit jam! <laughs> and soy sauce. Not bad. Oh, we got one with a larder. Don't care. Ooh, I think that's coming from the back. Which would not be good for me. Oh, shocker brute! And he doesn't quite see me yet. Oh, man. Because I was in the shade. Dare I shut the door. I'll let a couple of rounds go by and pray that he steps further away. Close the door. Get out of here. Ooh, utility vest and a hot plate. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. We will take the hot plate and the utility vest. And another zombie. Oh, and that's going to get the shock bird's attention. Oh, crap! <laughs> and he's right there! Uh, uh, we're, not, we're not shocked yet. 
Come on, come on, get out of the way, shock bolt. <laughs> ah, we didn't get shocked. Oh man. So, the Shocker Brute apparently did move from here, but he seemed to have gotten around to here awfully fast. I'm mildly concerned there's multiple Shocker Brutes. I guess he could have, if there was some noise down here, he could have wandered straight down there, and then that could be the same one. That seemed like an awful quick appearance for the Shocker Brute. But yeah, I had to hold my ground standing right there amidst the sh electricity. <laughs> I stepped... Just to try to keep it from hitting me, and we managed to not get tagged by any of the electricity there. We're not home free yet, though. We now we got a shocker brute chasing us. Uh, and the place I want to go is where he's coming from. So if he's stepping this way, I think I'm going to go into this room and then try to go out this window and then down into this house over here. And hopefully he doesn't see me through these conjoining windows and come charging after me. All right. What are we looking at? That's the fire truck, regular car, no other cars on the road. All right. Peek. All right, come on. Be nice to me, line of sight. All right, so we got lucky there. Nothing out here I care about. Nothing in the bathroom. Flour. We're not getting much in the way of food, though. Don't think that's the brute. We'll keep hugging the, the building here, moving from house to house. Good old pink hat. I'm always finding a pink hat. I don't know what's up with that. Metal tongs, glass jar. Biscuits, yay. Biscuits and bread. That was a pretty good find. That'll take care of some things. Duct tape, also very, very good. Getting a little happier with what we're finding. Wool socks. Let's wear the wool socks. Those are nice and toasty. They're still following me, though. <laughs> that better not be the shocker brute. I'm going to be pretty damn annoyed if that's the shocker brute chasing me this whole way. We have matches. I'm also attracting other things while I'm doing this. I got a steady, yep. Yeah. All right, meth. Now we got runners coming after us. That's gonna make this a little harder. I'm gonna guess nothing's gonna be useful there. Don't care about that. Grab the grapes. All right, what are we looking at? A few vehicles. I don't want to keep going that direction if I can help it, though. One more house. This one would be the last one in the group I was looking for, right there. And then we got the electronics store here. But I think... That's weird. So this is an electronics store. There's windows here. This must be the front over here, and I just can't quite see the front door. I don't remember ever seeing... If the front was over here, that would mean that three of the walls have windows, which doesn't make sense to me. So I think it's... Yeah, yeah, that's right. So the arrow is pointing south. All right. I understand. So if I go into this building, I'll have to go around out this way. There's some shadies. And then in... I'm not convinced there are windows on this wall, actually, but it kind of looks like there should be. So in this way, search it, then out again. Then I'm kind of out in the middle of nowhere here, which worries me a bit. So I'm debating whether it's worth it to go that way, or do I go straight across the street? So far, it's not too bad out here. I don't have a gas mask, though. We've got bloateds, we've got hostile zombies all over the place. Oh, there's a crowd over there. All right, that i got to pay attention to. Lots of runners. Lots of runners. Of course, it's got to be lots of runners. Hmm. Shocker brute in the neighborhood and a lot of runners chasing me house to house.
I think I am going to go into this next door house. Pretty good size. We're going to do this house, and then I'll try to work my way around. I, I want to stay away from the runners, and I don't think the Shocker Brute's chasing me. I think it's smaller zombies. Oh, I saw a first aid kit. <laughs> hey there, first aid kit. Don't worry. I'll rescue you. I'm coming. I'm not sure I got out in time. I think they saw me. Soldering iron is awesome. Trench or duster. Uh, sure. I'm in avoid fighting mode. First aid kit is awesome. Um, let's wait on that. So I want to see if anything follows me over here first. Sounds like I might have lost my pursuers. Oh, Shocker Brute. Hey, Shocker Brute. 32 to the north. You can't see me currently. I'm still in the shadow. Uh, if I move, let's see, it's raining. 32, 32. I don't see a good reason to step into this room just to maybe get something out of those dressers. So we'll, we'll stay in the shadows here. Try to keep his attention off of us. Looks like I did lose those runners, though. Grapes and a kiwi. Let's actually step back and have some food real quick while we've got an opportunity. Let's have the kiwi and some biscuits. There we go. We are full. I'm a lot happier with the haul now. So we've got uh, eight bread, 173 calories. Got three more biscuits. We've got some fruit, some pickles, ravioli. So that's all good emergency food. that will keep me going for a little bit. Canned meats in a jar. Oh, oatmeal. Oatmeal's my favorite. Oatmeal, beans, and rice. That's southwest. I think that's somebody over there breaking things. That's the bedroom I don't want to go towards, meaning I also don't want to go towards those lights. I don't need roller papers. We will grab the matchbook. All right. It's really important if any newer players are watching me just kind of saunter my way through this town. Um, I make it a lot look a lot easier than it actually is, but that's because I'm paying attention to a lot of things I'm not mentioning or talking about, including the light levels. So as long as I'm in the shaded area here, nothing, I mean, something could be standing right here at the window, and unless it's a, sh a shady zombie, it can't see me. So, and it will just pass right on by. So... With practice, with an inherent understanding of some of the light level issues and the lines of sight, and I know for a fact that things way out here can't see me because of the distance and the rain involved, cutting down its its vision range and that kind of stuff. Day rating is very possible, but it does take practice and... Sorry. I saw something red appear on the screen for a second, and I'm trying to figure out... Oh! Same shark brute? Same shark brute. Alright. <laughs> uh... But yeah, it can be done, but it does take some knowledge of the game systems. So we've done all of these houses. Come on. Okay, so those two are done. That's our tent base. We crossed the street, we went down that way, and then over to here. So now it's either the electronics store. I'm not real excited about switching, switching over to this other side after I saw that group right there. The other problem I have is that the triple Migos were hanging out somewhere right up in this area, and they're likely to have come south. Triple Migos would definitely have killed the burner. If it didn't explode, they wouldn't have taken much damage, and three Migos in an area will chop through a whole mess of zombies and keep going, so I'm worried about encountering the Migos, actually. They scare me more than the Shocker Brute does at this point, because of just given how fast they are. So yeah, now I have to make a decision which direction to go. Check back in with chat here. Been a little while since I looked over there. <laughs> hey there, Draco. <laughs> yep, 
Usually when I die by running myself accidentally after I thought I hit X is uh, in in labs. <laughs> and it's always towards a turret. Yeah, yeah. I've had a few deaths that way. Hey there, Swan. <laughs> hey, Vorm. Nice hat. Well, yeah, it's the same hat I've worn on every single live stream I've done. <laughs> Not like it's a new hat. Uh, Reason Police, uh, I guess you're the person I'm pointing my comments to about how to successfully maneuver around inside of a town. Basically, just watch what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'll try to mention the things that I think are important to know about, like the uh, shade and light levels, lines of sight, uh, keeping going building to building through the windows, much, much, much easier to survive in the residential areas because you've got so many doors that you can put between you and the zombies to break lines of sight, all that kind of stuff. So, for comparison, here's the character sheet. I do have fleet-footed, so I've got the uh, speed bonus on regular hard floors, but that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else that's really boosting me. Um, and I've got low perception, so theoretically, when I'm doing this at night, I only have four vision range. We're doing it right in the middle of the daytime, so I'm just YOLOing my way right through the middle of town. Well, not through the middle. <laughs> I'm avoiding the town center for <laughs> reasons that are obvious to most folks. Um, but as long as I've got residential nearby, it's really hard to kill me, even when I'm not running fleet footed and so on. Um, but you got to really have some practice and experience with the game. There's no simple, here's three things to do and you'll always be able to move safely through a town type of advice. It, it really requires a pretty advanced knowledge of the game mechanics and actual practice at doing it. We, we can tell you things all day long, but telling you and actually putting it into practice are, are vastly different. Um... I just have an inherent feel for the danger levels that I'm in, keeping myself out of line of sight and things like that. But um, hopefully by watching this, you'll uh, get a little better idea. Um, so, like I said, I got to make a decision here. I think I'm going to go peek out the front door. We'll see how this street looks. See if it's better than that other corner we were looking at. I really, really want to roll back around that direction. I don't want to go up north towards where those Migos were. Because that is bad news. Uh, but I also don't want to keep getting pushed south further into the town. So, yeah. <laughs> I do have some, if you haven't seen my quick tip in my university series on my YouTube channel reason, check that out. There's a few specific uh, episodes geared towards uh, night raiding cities, night vision rules, um, examples of movement, tactical moving, things like that. So just kind of skim the list if you haven't already. And pretty much in every playthrough I do, everybody gets to watch me night raid, day raid. I, I, I have no fear of going into cities, so I, I do it pretty much every time. And I don't often get caught out for it, um, but I've, I've played a lot of Cataclysm, so... Like I said, there's a lot that's going on in the back of my brain that's keeping me safe that I just don't verbalize um, every time I do this. So, let's go peek out the front. Shocker Brute, that's the one up north. I don't care about you, dude. He can't see me, even though I'm in the light and he's 37 away. Got a little dog is out here. Um, got a little dog is in the vehicle, and it can't get to me directly without breaking through the vehicle. He does see me, though. I think I'm just going to pop the door and take a look. Zombie brute, acid zombie. All right, what do we see? Hey, that list has got kind of long. Multiple shockers again, just south of me, of course. Ugh. All right, this is a no-go. We're not going this direction. I'm not dealing with multiple shockers. That would be one of those, <clears throat> you got to know what you can deal with things and 
That ain't one of them. You don't want to tangle with multiple shockers. Not in the daylight. Nighttime, I'd walk five spaces away from them, no problem. Just kind of wave and give them, give them a howdy, but uh, not during the day. So, we're not going out this way. Too dangerous. So, back in we go. Close these up. All right, that, that direction's a no-go. So, next option. South and around into the electronics store, but I'm worried about what I'm going to get spotted by out this way. So, let's make sure we're not running and we've got full stamina before we do anything else. Stamina management is by far the number one thing new players need to learn to get a really good understanding of. There's your stamina bar. Walk and run indicator. And constantly switching between these two only when necessary is really, really important. You only need to be two spaces ahead of 99% of the zombies. You don't need to be sprinting all the time to get away. Just sprint just enough to uh, keep the safe distance until you can get behind a door, get a building between you and them, get a vehicle between you and them, all that good stuff. Step. And there's the runners. That's what I was kind of worried about is the position of those runners. I think I might have to come back around, go out that window... Let's see. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to purposely attract those runners. So, we're going to step out. Hey, runners. Switch back to run mode. That won't slow them down much. Uh-oh, brutes come through the window. All right, we're going to go out this way. So, the runners are following what they saw. They're coming this way. They're going to come in. Follow my scent trail. Now, I'm going to loop around through here. Basically, I'm just tricking them into getting into a bad position. Hopefully this works. Then we're going to go up this way. And we are out of sight. Oh! Bloated zombie! What the hell? <laughs> you punk. Alright, so apparently a bloated was nearby. <laughs> I don't know where. Let's get out of sight. Uh, and then we break the window. Alright, well this is not going so well now. Now I'm going to wander myself into range of the Shocker Brute. Alright, he can't see me yet. Get into the shade. Now I really need to take a moment to rest. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to uh, wait off the poison, though. And if I start fighting, I'm going to make noise. Yeah, this is bad. This is not good. And I'm wearing all the crap that I don't want to be wearing when I fight. Um... This is getting a little sticky. I wasn't expecting the poison. No, I haven't managed anything yet, Chaos. <laughs> We're on uh, day two. No fungus in sight yet. So, the worry now is what we saw earlier out here. It may have moved off somewhere, may have gotten distracted. But I don't want to try to make that run across that long street while I'm low stamina and poisoned. If it wasn't for this fat zombie here, I think I'd be okay. Hmm. I'm worried about fighting him without, uh, or with the rucksack, but if I drop it, and anything else shows up, I'm not going to have time to grab my stuff back up again. I really don't want to fight this guy with lowered stats while wearing a filthy item. I think I'm going to have to. Alright, we got rid of him. Get the rucksack back on in case we have to skedaddle. Hide in the corner here. Don't need the screwdriver, don't need any of that stuff. Alright, we're just going to hide right here for the moment. It's also important to uh, make sure you pick your, your your safe spots. So right now, i got problems because i got light, but I've got a dark area. I've got multiple directions I can run if anything shows up. 
So, shock our brute stepping here would be about the worst possibility. I think the fight was too far for him to hear it and come investigate. So I'm going to wait out the poison. The stamina is refreshed, but we got to let some time pass for that poison to go away. There we go. All right, poison's gone. Now we're back to full strength. Uh, I'm just still playing tag with that stupid guy. Let's peek out the window. See what we can see out here. Is that group gone down here? Well, they're still over there. It's still drizzling. If I go out the window and diagonally northwest, I might not get their attention. They're down here. If I stay like right along this route and then come across, I might be able to do it. That shocker zombie at last sight was up in this direction, so I gotta be careful of that distance as well. Let's do it though. I don't see a reason not to peek out the front door as well. Same group, pretty much. The runners are more annoying than dangerous. It's just they'll chase me into other things sometimes. Alright, nothing can see me. Again, no exclamation points. I'm too far away given the rain blocking their line of their vision, so we're okay so far. Still clear. Got the boomer. 35 to the north. He's far enough. He won't bother me. I think we might make it over to this other house without getting any attention. Again, nothing can see me. There we go. Broad daylight, walking across a big city street. All right. Um, this is the uh, gate of ultimate doom. Unpickable. <laughs> we tried, what, 20, 30 times to pick that lock last run and never managed to get through that stupid gate. And <laughs> you can't climb over it. Apparently it's a like floor to ceiling metal gate. So, if I break a window, it's only seven sound. With the rain, I don't think anything will hear me. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to equip our crowbar. We're going to take a window out. Less danger, I think, from the sound of the window breaking than any other path I could take. Better of sun back, glasses, and some crispy cranberry. These also don't have uh, blinds that I can pull. All right, but now we're in the interior. Shorts and nothing else. But I don't like this house because I can't close curtains. <laughs> it's a bad house. Another umbrella. All right, southwest. Farther than I can see the indicator for, apparently. All right, I'm going to think minefield that I just brought my reality bubble in range of. All right, we got more duct tape. Can't never have too much duct tape. Now we have two first aid kits. Um, not liking windows. I don't like windows. Hoodie, hoodie. Um, hmm. Right now, we're sitting on just the duster and the t-shirt. 35 torso encumbrance, most of which is from the rucksack. But that leaves me in pretty good fighting shape, given my skill set with this character. Legs is where I've got a big problem. i got to fix that leg encumbrance. That is way too much. All right, got to dump some stuff. Goodbye, cargo pants. Goodbye, jeans. I didn't realize I was sitting on that much leg encumbrance. All right, much better. Now we got the numbers down to reasonable numbers. Um, the issue there is the leg encumbrance increases my running, running movement cost um, and lowers my dodge. So bad, bad, and bad to have way too much of that. We got all the fire making we might need now. Don't care, don't care. And this is a dead end spot. Did that smoker zombie spot me? I don't think he did. Mm, nine eggs. Um, all right. We'll see if I can actually get to use those before they go bad. And we are full up. 
No, I don't want to be full up. Yeah, if I was full inventory, I'd probably drop some other stuff when I drop those items. I'll have to go back and double check everything. What else is over here? Hamburgers and toastums. Alright. Let's jump back over here real quick. What else did I drop? Uh, first aid kit and utility vest. Let's wear the utility vest. That'll get me three storage. That'll compensate for the other stuff. Thanks for pointing that out, though. I wouldn't have even notice those particular items being gone. <laughs> and we're about full up again. So we're at uh, 31.15 out of 31.50 available. Still no soap. <laughs> Still not a single soap. You have a hard time with encumbrance and getting your head around it? Here's my base rule. Here, here's my here's what I think through when I'm figuring out encumbrance. You want to, if you can, early game, keep your torso encumbrance below 30. And you want to keep your arm and leg encumbrance below 20. If you can manage that and have okay temperature and decent carry capacity, that's kind of the goal. Then as you gain combat capability, meaning skills, melee skill, whatever... You can start increasing the numbers. So you can go up to 40, you can go up to 50, and so on. Because skills like unarmed combat and dodge and melee as they go up, the bonuses you get will offset the negatives you're getting from the encumbrance. So just kind of as a loose <laughs> rule of thumb, that's kind of the balance that I try to maintain roughly. There are exceptions, of course, for everything. If you don't plan on fighting at all, if you're just going to run away from everything, then... Feel free to encumber up. Just try to keep your legs unencumbered. But torso encumbrance won't mean anything. So and there's a lot of niche cases. And when you really, really know the mechanics, there's different ways you can kind of work things. But that should give you some kind of a, a general idea of how to deal with it. All right, so we got this house done. I think we have to go back to our basement if we can manage it cleanly. Uh, drop stuff off and then head out again or call it good. We got enough food that uh, we should be okay so i'm thinking of going out this window here yeah let's go out that window do i have enough room to put the crowbar away i don't i gotta wield it all right well, i don't want to fight with the crowbar so far still just a boomer multiple vehicles including a road roller all right here's what we're gonna do with that boomer follow me boomer where are you? Come on, get over here. Come on. Follow me. No, don't bang on the vehicle. Ugh, boomer's so slow. Uh-oh, survivor zombie. Now it's two boomers. Um, Those guys are too far away. Both of these boomers have spotted me. I don't want them to actually go boom. I was hoping if it was just the one boomer, I could uh, lure them into my, my murder basement and I can kill them down there without worrying about it. Ah, he blinded me. Uh, towel. Run head inside. Come on, Boomer. Keep following me. Blinded me again. Come on, Boomer. Get in here. That's fine. Keep blinding me. I don't mind. I want to introduce you to the murder basement. There we go. Come on, Boomer. Now that we're inside, don't brook sack. Drop, makeshift crowbar, and let's go explain to the boomer why it was a bad idea to come to the murder basement. <laughs> he brought me a headlamp. Hey, we got a light. Alright, it's filthy again, but we'll grab it. Wear rucksack, grab gear. No. Wield. Uh crowbar finish grabbing gear god dang it oh that's because i picked up the headlamp all right let's divest ourselves 
No baseball bat necessary. Metal tongs. We got a lot of good stuff. We got the tongs. We got the soldering iron. Got the hot plate. Um, headlamp. Good pile of food. Okay, books. All right. Um, we're boomered. Good old nausea effect. So, <laughs> we're back down to our four vision range we should have. The mysterious six vision range debacle continues. I still don't have an explanation for why we are occasionally getting six vision range. Hopefully somebody can chime in and explain it because I can't figure out a mechanic that should be giving me six vision range, but uh, keeps happening. So, however, um, let's unwield the crowbar. Anything else we want to drop? We're back to eight out of 31 volume. I'm thinking of dropping the Remington. I'm just not going to use it in a city I haven't cleared yet. It's not going to save me in an emergency. We got a little bit of torso damage. The eagle eye thing? Scout has an eagle eye thing? I don't know. I assume the eagle eye tag was just a fancy name for the scout's overworld map bonus. If not, fine. I mean, scout was the only variable that might explain it. But, like when we started tonight's episode with this particular playthrough, we appeared in the hospital and we had six night vision range. When we should have had four, according to everything I know of. So... All right, uh, let me do make another, uh, we got some folks logged in now, so hey everybody, hey lurkers. Um, we've been the last week or so trying to ask everybody that uh, is in chat to once or twice during the chat, uh, just say something. Um, what we're trying to do is just raise the number of VIP slots that I have to uh, hand out to regulars, so... If everybody wouldn't mind just tossing any kind of comment in a chat, whether it's a howdy, a question, whatever, doesn't matter. Just uh, type something in. We got to get a pretty high number now to unlock the next group. Um, so once the stream is over, it'll tell me how close we got. And that'll give me some kind of a vague idea of uh, what we need to work towards. Um, with the 67 we've got now, I, I think we have to hit 50. So just about all of you would have to chat in order for us to hit that next benchmark. Um, but yeah, it's a real quick, simple way of uh, helping support the channel. That way, for folks that uh, are here often, and I start to recognize your names, and you're participating and sporting and just showing up even, um, I can hand out badges. So, be greatly appreciated. There, I'll even put mine in there. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see, what are we up to? We just hit the two hour point. I think while you guys are chatting, I'm gonna take my quick break. So we're two hours in. Let me do that and uh, I'll be back for some more. We're gonna do some more day rating, don't fear. We're gonna go ahead and keep doing it. I don't have a problem doing it. And I think it's a good educational thing. I, I always get pushback when I recommend to players that they can raid cities, day, night, whatever, with just an understanding of mechanics, so. It always tickles me to do it pretty much every stream just as a kind of a, see, you can do it kind of thing. But yeah, it does take some knowledge. I'll be right back, folks. See you here in just a couple minutes.